He came to me in, uh, I don't, he was in middle school or high school, and, and he's very spiritually mature, has always been. I didn't do it. Their daddy didn't do it. God did it. But these, uh, we call him our little Billy Graham. But anywho, <laughs> so he came, he was dating a little girl, and he came home, and he, I said, what y'all been doing? And he said, we've been uh, watching a movie, and we were kissing. I said, oh, that's normal. That's okay. But I said, baby, you know, before you know it, one thing can get out of hand. You've got your arm around somebody, and then you've got your hand on her leg. You know, things can get out of control. He looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> and he said to me, Mom, I've prayed about this. Nothing like that's going to happen. And I know he meant that. And all I could think of to myself was some of the nastiest things I ever did. <laughs> Was at the Adams United Methodist Youth Fellowship. <laughs> on a hayride. I don't know what it was about hay that set me on fire. I wish it did now. I could get a new purse out of that. Um, do y'all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Youth groups. And we've all, here in the South, we've all been raised in church, you know. Did y'all ever go to a lock-in? <laughs> what little fool came up with that? Y'all know that it was some precious little woman, maybe, and, and they were like, we, they were in a committee meeting, and she was like, oh gosh, y'all, we need to come up for something for all the hormonal teenagers. <laughs> I know. We'll put them in the church building and lock the door <laughs> and turn the lights out <laughs> and leave them there all night. Maybe somebody will end up pregnant. <laughs> <laughs>